this video I'm just going to be making a super quick key holder. Um, my wife's asked me to make one to go on the kitchen wall. Due to the lockdown um, I can't get any quality wood to make it out of so I'm just going to be using some old pallet wood for this one. So stick around and enjoy the video. Right so I've got this piece of pallet wood and I'm going to make the letters as wide as this slat is um, and I'm basically just marking it out now, I'm not worried if it's not 100% accurate but I'm just basically marking out boxes that are 2 inches wide Just going to freehand some letters because I haven't actually got any stencils or anything. So once the letters were marked out, I could then start cutting them out. So with all the letters cut out, I could then sand the bits I could get to on the disc sander and the rest I sanded down using some sandpaper wrapped around a pencil. Once the letters was done, it was time to start making the back. Um, and for that, I'm just using another piece of pallet wood, and I'm ripping it down on the table saw, and then cutting it down to the length I want it on the miter saw. Then it was time for a quick sand and I decided it would look better with rounded corners so here I'm using a plastic lid just to mark the curves and then I can refine it um, on the bandsaw and finish it off on a di disc sander.
With the back cut to size, I then rounded over the edges using my trim router. Then it was time to start gluing the letters on and for that I'm using a tiny amount of wood glue and some CA glue. Now I'm drilling the holes where the hooks are going to go. Here I'm adding the hooks and then I realised I should have painted it first so I had to remove all the hooks and give it a coat of black spray paint. Now I would have preferred two different colours but the only colour I had that would have gone with our kitchen was the black so the wife decided black would be good enough and that's what I'm using and to finish it off some clear varnish and that's the project finished Time to put it on the wall and tick that job off the list. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, I really appreciate you sticking around. I know it would have looked better if I would have painted the letters a different colour to the background, but the only paint I had was black, and the wife was happy with the finished result. So you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. Thanks to all my usual subscribers, welcome to any new subscribers, and if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, and you're into woodworking videos, workshop related videos or tool reviews then I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, tap the little bell icon and you'll be notified of every future upload. And I almost forgot to mention um, next week's video is going to be a new tool unboxing and first impressions video so if you want to see what I've bought um, and you're not subscribed to the channel then make sure you hit that subscribe button and tune in for next week's video. Cheers for watching. Until then, stay safe and you will see me in the next video. Cheers for watching guys.